สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m e s t a n z a and today is Tuesday October 5th Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PPCPhuket.com Tourism operators are raising concerns over the 500 baht fee for tourists to Thailand starting next year, which was approved by officials in Bangkok last week. The fee is an extension of the 300 baht fee per person that was already set to come into effect next year, and the additional 200 baht was tacked on as a subsidy for quote projects by private and community enterprises to transform the tourism industry, according to the Tourism Authority of Thailand. The head of the Thai Hotels Association says the fund for the tourism industry is promising, but added, quote, "Fee collection will impact decision making as the additional cost is considerably high compared with the average expenditure while traveling in Thailand, such as a hotel room per night of just a thousand baht. If the government really has to move forward, it should not implement this policy in the first half of next year." The tourist fee and the tourism transformation fund concept are now in the hands of the tourism ministry and the TAT, who are in charge of how the mechanism will be implemented. For more, visit thepukanews.com. It took six years, but the owner of the Natari Massage Parlor in Bangkok, that was raided and closed down over human trafficking violations and prostitution of minors, among other crimes, he was arrested in Bangkok on Monday. 63-year-old Prasert Suki, nicknamed Kolak. He and seven others went on the run soon after the raids back on June 7, 2016, at the Natari Parlor in Ratchatapisek Road in Bangkok. Authorities found 121 sex workers at the venue, including eight girls under 18, and many of them were migrants, about 77. The case gained even more attention once it was discovered that the managers of the massage parlor paid off substantial bribes to cops and other officials which allowed human trafficking and prostitution of minors to take place. The investigation into the case also revealed that the sex workers at the parlor would be given blue cards with either lions or eagles to show local Huai Kuang police in that district that the venue that they worked for paid the bribe on their behalf. While 13 people were wanted over the case, including Prasad, eight of them went on the run and five were prosecuted, including three of the managers, all of whom confessed to police, and they were handed sentences of up to 13 years in jail, but their sentences were commuted by half because they cooperated with prosecutors. Prasad had been on the run ever since, wanted for human trafficking, prostitution of minors, money laundering, and harboring undocumented migrants. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call m and Painting today. Transform your pool within a week. Call us today. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. COVID-19 cases on the island have reached 182 total, including Phuket Sandbox tourists after 177 local infections were announced yesterday, along with three more deaths attributed to COVID-19. The death toll for Phuket since April is 83, and 71 of those deaths have taken place since the start of August. Out of the total 11,834 cases since April, over 10,500 of those cases have been recorded since August. These figures include Phuket Sandbox tourists. Vaccinations are now underway for more than 5 million students nationwide as officials look to inoculate students between 12 and 18 before the new school term begins in November, which is expected to resume on-campus classes. The Pfizer vaccine is being used for the vaccinations of students aged 12 to 18 after it was approved for use on minors as young as 12 by the Thai FDA. A special ceremony in Bangkok was held to mark the start of the mass vaccination drive presided over by the Prime Minister. Currently, all students in the 29 dark red zone provinces are being given priority before the vaccinations takes place in other provinces. According to the Permanent Secretary of Education, about 90% of parents nationwide have consented to allow their children to receive the vaccination. The ultimate aim is for all schools to reopen for students, but even the education minister says that, despite the vaccinations, 
The new school term opening next month will include a mix of on-site and online classes, which will depend on each individual province and district. Still, the Public Health Ministry expects to inoculate at least 85% of teens and teachers nationwide before the school term begins in November. Meanwhile, the health officials are making plans to inoculate children 3 to 11 years old against COVID-19 by next year with parental consent. There are about 6 million children in this group, according to officials, and the plan is also contingent on the Thai FDA approving a vaccine for use on children as young as 3 years old, which it has yet to do so. For more, visit thepukanews.com. Thank you so much for joining us on this Phuket Extra here on Tuesday, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Wednesday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.